in our last part we have discussed on food production in continuation with that today we are going to discuss on soil fertility it is better to say improving soil fertility this is the actually the topic so followed by sowing seeds it is the most important aspect of crop production is to improve the soil fertility following sowing it is important to improve the soil fertility rather to check the soil fertility for optimum production of the crop for improving soil fertility there are some measures can be adopted first of all we are going to discuss with fallow field we know that when crops are grown in a field for several consecutive years the soil becomes deficient in nutrients and become less fertile so the soil become less fertile due to continuous production of crop in this situation normally the land is not cultivated for one or more seasons land is not cultivated for one or more than one one or more seasons it helps it to regain its fertility naturally in order to regain soil fertility naturally by decomposition of organic matter by micro organisms by decomposition of organic matters this is actually the fallow field to rest the field for one or more season to regain its fertility the next measures which can be adopted is rotation of crop what is rotation of crop it is the practice of growing different crops alternately in the same field so practice of growing different crops alternately in the same field alternately in the same field is commonly known as rotation of crop or crop rotation naturally a cereal crop like paddy which uses a lot of nutrients from the soil is alternately cultivated with leguminous crops like pulses which add nutrients to the soil it is a natural practice so what is the natural practice 
the natural practice is cereal crops cereal crops are alternately cultivated with leguminous crops like pulses actually cereal crops uses a lot of nutrients from the soil which actually compensated by the production of pulses or by cultivation of pulses which add nutrients rather as the root of these leguminous plants have microorganisms which fix the atmospheric nitrogen to the soil by the process of symbiosis. Sometimes it has been seen that three or more crops are rotated alternately like rice, wheat, pulses, musket. The main thing is to cultivation of some leguminous plant so that it can add some nutrient to the soil. We know that leguminous crops can fix atmospheric nitrogen with the help of some nitrogen fixing bacteria present in their root nodules. So this is the rotation of crop and its implementation. Now we come to the third point which is actually fertilizers. Fertilizers are common name. Normally there are two types of fertilizers. One is biofertilizer and another is chemical fertilizers. What is biofertilizers? Biofertilizers actually application of microorganisms which improve soil fertility. So in true sense biofertilizer is application of microorganisms which improve soil fertility. This is the biofertilizer. Another thing very close to this term is manure. What is manure? Manure is produced by decomposition of crop residue. Decomposition of crop residue. Animal dung by allowing microorganisms when it is produced in the pits, it is known as the compost. So, manure is the decomposition of crop residue, animal uh, dung, domestic sewages, all these things by allowing microorganisms. So it is a kind of natural fertilizer or man-made fertilizer. So manure we can see as a natural fertilizer. Manure improves the soil texture and better retention of water. Two things. Improve soil texture And second thing, better retention of water. When manure is prepared in a closed pit like structure, it is known as the compost. Now we come to chemical fertilizers. Water chemical fertilizers. Chemical fertilizers actually is a salt or an organic compound containing necessary 
plant nutrients salt or organic compounds having necessary plant nutrients having necessary plant nutrients like nitrogen phosphorus potassium etc like so chemical fertilizers are salt or organic compound having necessary plant nutrients like nitrogen phosphorus potassium etc so chemical fertilizers are man made and not occur naturally as we have found in case of man made and another important aspect of chemical fertilizer is these are very much nutrient specific these are nutrient specific some examples of chemical fertilizers are very common example is urea ammonium sulfate superphosphate and of course npk sodium potassium and phosphorus there are some problem with chemical fertilizers what are these problems excessive use excessive use of chemical fertilizers is very much harmful how this chemical fertilizer is harmful excessive use of fertilizer or this type of fertilizer changes the soil texture changes the soil texture making either acidic or highly alkaline that leads to decrease in soil fertility so excessive use of chemical fertilizer may decrease in soil fertility and the next is accumulation of chemical fertilizers accumulation of this type of fertilizers in water body may pollute the water pollute the waters and is lead to kill the aquatic organism and the process is known as eutrophication in our next segment we may discuss details on eutrophication but to be very precise it is the process by which water body gets polluted and aquatic organisms present in that water body will be destroyed so this is all about today's lesson we have discussed how to improve the soil fertility by using manures by rotation of crops and fallow field thank you for testing your understanding of this lesson and more videos log on to www.tubelessons.net